What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live talking about this upcoming W. And I say W NBA four gamer. I'm excited about this WNBA four gamer. It's a good slate. I'm excited. I already have a few bets that I'm liking, which definitely check that out. I might be doing some more betting content since I've been on a roll. I've been loving betting now. I mean, this has been a good couple days. I mean, what else can I say? The affiliate down below is Underdog. Definitely check out Underdog. It's best ball season with football season almost coming up. I cannot wait to draft some best balls. So definitely check out my Underdog promo code down below. Sorry, I had to get a quick drink. But anyways, let's dig into the slate. Before we begin, always, always, always hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's been a ton, as y'all know, getting over 300. I'm excited about that accomplishment. I cannot wait for the more and more of y'all to definitely check out my content. But now y'all are here for WNBA. Let's dig into the slate. Atlanta, Indiana. So, as I pull up the WNBA app on my phone, I mean, this is already an amazing app, by the way, guys. If you don't have it, I would definitely recommend checking that out. But we have Atlanta versus Indiana. Battle of who's going to win their first game. 0-2 versus 0-3. So, so far, it's been the Courtney Williams show on Atlanta. I mean, she's been doing it all. She's been having to basically carry this team as much as she could. At 10-2, though, I'd rather get to other pieces. It's hard to get to her at 10-2. Do I want to play her at 10-2? I do. But at the same time, I, I think she's in a must-win situation, obviously, because they want to win. But at the same time, I'm just not feeling it at that price tag. And then if we look at Carter... Do you want to get to Carter? I mean, at 8-7, 34 and 14, she's definitely volatile. So for me, I'm not really getting to him. And then looking at Mitchell on the Indiana side, she's been having to do it all at 16 points so far this season. At 8-6, again, there's not a lot that I want in this matchup alone. I mean, do I think it's going to be basically a battle of who's going to get their first win? Yes, obviously, they both want to win. At the same time, I just don't trust either team based on just how they looked. And then dropping down to T. Mitchell, if you want to get to her, I wouldn't blame you. But it's just hard to get to at 6-7. I'm not really getting to a lot of guards in this first game whatsoever. And I'm looking at the forwards on the opposite side, McCowan. Dare I say, do you want to play McCowan? At 10,000, I definitely want to play her. I love this matchup for her. I think she does her thing. Keep feeding her the ball. Give me all of Teresa McCowan here. Looking at Hawkins at up for Atlanta. Not really for me at 7-9. I, I don't trust that price tag for her whatsoever. So, but Elizabeth Williams, I do like her. I think she definitely has the upside at 7-4. Lavender, I, you know I always get to Lavender at 6-9. And then nobody else really on this team. Let's go to a better game in New York and Washington. I love this. Do you pay <laughs> Sabrina over 11,000? I repeat, 11 2 for New York for Sabrina. That is crazy to me. She's killing it though on rebound. She's killing it though on assists. She's doing it all. Do, you, do I want to pay 11 2 for her? I certainly do. I mean, do I think this is a blowout game? I think New York can definitely smash Washington here. So, in my opinion, this is all New York, but I think Washington is not going to give up that huge of a fight. Looking at Laney, she's been killing it on the points wise. I like her at 9 8. That's a high price tag for, for you to pay for her. Do I think she can do it? I definitely do, though. Atkins on the flip side, she hasn't really done well like I thought she would this season. I just can't do it. Cloud, she's getting the steals for you. 8 2. Kind of hard to get to, not going to lie. But the girl I want to take a look at is Wickham. I think Wickham is a nice value play at 7-2. I think she can certainly do a little bit more. So, so I don't mind that. Anybody else still on this team, I'm kind of fading. On the forward side, though, still no Heinz Allen, still no Deli Dawn, and no Natasha Howard. So I'm looking at Charles. She's going to have to basically be the big girl here. I think she can do certainly well against Kia Stokes. I think this is all her matchup. I love her here. I don't trust... Michelle just yet. I kind of want to see more out of her. But I do love me some Tina Charles here in this matchup on the flip side. If you want to run the back on the option on the Washington side. 
Connecticut and a Phoenix. Let's jump over to that game. Connecticut undefeated. And we have Phoenix on the other side at 2 and 1. So, let's look at Connecticut. Dewana Bonner. She's doing it all. She's basically been the main girl here. 10 3. I, I don't mind that price tag for her. Tarasi on the flip side. She's going to be basically right up in front of Bonner. I think this is a good battle. I cannot wait to watch that game. And on Starler Jenkins Smith, I like her at 9,000. She's definitely in play. Jasmine Thomas. Or John Cole, John, or Jasmine Thomas, not really for me. Kia Nurse. I mean, she just has not been the same this season. With no January, though, we could possibly see more of Heidman. But then again, she is a value play that I don't mind. And then on the forwards, let's go to Connecticut. Like I said, a Phoenix, Brittany Griner, Turner. It's been these two girls battling back and forth. I love these two girls here. If I had to pick, it's a coin flip, honestly. And then John Quill Jones at 10-7. I think she can do well here, yes. But at the same time, I don't want to pay that price tag for her. There's not really a lot of value on this team that I want to get to on the forward position. And then last game... Of the slate, Las Vegas and LA. So Los Angeles has only played one game, so we need to be careful what we see out of this game because we still kind of get in the feel of the rotation. Unlike unlike Las Vegas, who's already played two games, so we kind of already know. But let's start with the forwards. Wilson versus Cambridge. I love Wilson here. She's going to do it all at 10-8. You can definitely pay that for her. I think this is a great matchup for her. Cambridge, I'm not really going to get to her when I can get to Wilson. A good Mike, 27 points last game. Like I said, she looked good. It was mainly her doing it all. And then Hamby, 7-7. I mean, she's always in play. But if we look at Coffee also at 5-4, she's a value play. That I don't mind looking at 20 point, or twenty minutes. So, like I said, be careful with this Los Angeles team, though, because we're still kind of get a feel for them. And then on the guards... Gray, Chelsea Gray, she's in play. Revenge narrative, I like that. Plum, no thank you. Like I said, they're going. she's moving anyways, so I'm not really looking at her. And then Erica Wheeler, I don't mind that as value at 6-1 as long as she gets the minutes. So there after this WNB site for us, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope everybody has a good and safe rest of the day. Have a good one, everybody.